Imagine a centipede the size of a car crawling up your wall. That wasn't a nightmare. That was reality. 300 million years ago, the air was thick, heavy, and packed with oxygen. Earth was a giant steamy greenhouse. And through its dark, swampy forests, something colossal slithered. It wasn't a snake. It wasn't a dinosaur. It was an insect. This was the reign of Arthropleura. Picture it, over eight feet long, with a segmented, armored body wider than a person. Thirty pairs of legs scuttling across the damp earth, a sound like a hundred tiny drums beating a rhythm of dread. Its massive mandibles, strong enough to crush plant matter, would have looked terrifying up close. It moved through the giant ferns and club masses, not as a predator but as a king. Nothing dared to challenge it. It was the largest land invertebrate to ever live. You'd think a creature this monstrous would be a vicious hunter, tearing apart anything in its path. But here's the twist. Scientists have analyzed its fossilized gut contents. They found plant spores, pollen. It was a giant, armored vegan. This behemoth, this tank of the ancient world, spent its days peacefully munching on rotting vegetation on the forest floor. It wasn't looking for a fight. It was just a gardener in a monster's body. But don't get too comfortable. Its sheer size meant it had no natural enemies. Imagine walking through a forest and a shadow falls over you. You look up and see this armored titan scaling a massive tree, its countless legs moving in a hypnotic, terrifying wave. It might not have wanted to eat you, but in its world, you were nothing more than a twig to be stepped on. The forest floor belonged to Arthropleura, and this was just one of the giants that roamed the Carboniferous period. 